but I'm just going to paint this. I have my paint colors. I have a burnt sienna. This is a Winsor Newton burnt sienna. We have Winsor Newton titanium white. This is Basics uh, unbleached titanium and Basics, what is this? Uh, cadmium yellow light hue and this is Basics hooker's green. I like that hooker's green. <laughs> It was named after a Civil War general, I think. But for the base, for this part, I'm going to paint it a mixture of the burnt sienna and titanium, which gives it a nice kind of terracotta color. Um, or at least it, it might. No, maybe not. Well, it gives it a nice color, and that's the color I want for this. It's kind of topish, actually. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I'm okay. I'm using a little artist loft. Uh, uh, it's about a half inch angled brush. Um, I like these. You can get into a lot of tight spaces with them. And if you make a mistake, really simple. Rinse out your brush. Take it off. You know, it's, it's super simple to use. And so I'm just uh, Have to hang on to my plant here by its little spikes so I can get in here. I, I got some on here and I don't want that much on there but I'm going to go over this and paint it with um, some greens I decided on uh, a couple different shades of green so I'm just painting away here it doesn't have to be perfect you can see the imperfections in my uh, clay but then you know that gives it that gives it some. Uh, I'm just painting the bottom just because I can. Uh, it gives it some difference. So I'm just going to get my hand out of the way so you can take a look at that. Maybe. I'm just trying to get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful not to uh, get this on my pot color. Well, says she as she paints her pot green. Maybe I should have painted the whole green the whole thing green first. I don't know. <laughs> But, you know, it's all about learning experiences and, you know, um, figuring out the easiest way to do something. <laughs> or, in my case, maybe the hardest way to do something. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just thought I'd change this. This is for my little um, house diorama that I did uh, earlier this, this year. Gosh, there's not an easy way to hang on to this thing. There probably is, and I don't know. Maybe I just need to wait till this dries. There's a concept. Wait till it dries. Ah, silliness. Wait till it dries. Okay. 
but I think that's going to look really cute on my on my uh, diorama's porch, you know. Uh, I think so. What do you think? I think it might be pretty cool, actually. I I might have to wait until this dries. Be back in a little bit. I couldn't wait. I'm not a very patient person, as you'll find out. I just I lack patience. It's a it's just it's a personality flaw, and uh, I know this is a little bit like watching grass grow, or in this case, plant being painted, but. Um, for me, it's very relaxing to do. Uh, you know, it's um, almost meditative. Get in there, get all those little pieces all greened up. This is a nice green plant. It's got lots of plant food. You know, it's okay if it's less than perfect. You know, there used to be a thing that only God was perfect, you know, and that when you're doing a work of art, you should put in there imperfections on purpose um, to demonstrate that. Um, a lot of art was, you know, about teaching. Um, Done. Keeping it green. There's nothing wrong with that. Make sure you wash your brush out. And you know, and when I wash, I kind of do this like this. It looks like I'm just going to whisk, whisk, whisk. But I'm really kind of doing this, and it's to get the paint out of the the ferrule out of this part. So I try not to get paint up into the ferrule. I try to just keep it on the tips of the brushes, which is where you're going to need it. Um, there's my little plant for my diorama, and uh, I might put a second coat on it in a little bit. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and listening to my tale of woe. Bye.